Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video is very exciting. Today we have the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona which retails for $129 versus the brand new, it just released today, Artemis palette from Alter Ego which retails for $22 and I also have an affiliate code. You can use code PORCELAIN if you want to save more money off that. So it's less than $22. So we have over a $100 price difference in here. So we have the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona right here. I got this used, so it is a little messy, but it is really pretty as well. And then we have the Artemis palette, which is brand new. And I will leave linked down below for you. They look so similar. Like, hold them up beside each other, Bridget. Look how pretty. Now, the colors are rearranged in here, which is the only thing that may not look like spot on. But they are the exact same colors in here. So before we get started with the look and start comparing it, I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches here. We're going to compare each very similar shade. Since they're out of order, we're going to do very similar shades beside each other and see how they swatch. And then we'll get started with this look. Okay, guys. So I did these swatches of the first row of the Metropolis palette compared to the correlating shades in the Artemis palette. But because they're in a different order in the Artemis palette, I just kind of figured out which ones looked similar and put them beside each other. So as you can tell, the first swatch is Natasha Denona. The next one is the Alter Ego dupe for it. The all of you shade the Natasha Denona is much stronger than the Alter Ego one, but I would say the orange in the Alter Ego palette is better than the orange from the original palette. But next to each other, I tried to do my best to match them. Maybe they don't match perfectly, but this is the first row. All right, here's the second row compared. The only one that seems better in the Natasha Nona palette is the green, but also if you look in the pan, the greens are totally different tones, like the one in the Alter Ego palette's a lot lighter, so that may be why it's swatched like that, but everything else looks pretty good. All right, here's row three. It all looks really pretty. I wasn't sure I matched the right shade of brown for this last one, but other than that, these look really nice. All right, and here's the last row compared. It's so pretty, like the shimmers I cannot get over. Um, the blue matte and the Alter Ego one is slightly less pigmented than the other one. But like overall, oh and this one's a little more yellow. This looks so good for both of them. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to say what shade I'm using and I'm going to tell you the name of it on the Alter Ego one just because there's like this weird flappy situation on the other one. But let's get started. So I picked identical brushes. I chose three brushes that are all identical because I have duplicates of it. I was originally going to use the Alter Ego brushes, but since I have the exact same brush and multiples of the Sigma ones, so I have my E38, which is my signature blending brush. It's also my brush set if you have that. And I have two cream color E58s. E58? E38? E58. <laughs> and then I have two E55s, which are two shader brushes for lower lash lines. So I have duplicates so we can get this to match perfectly. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to take our medium blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade, uh, I don't know, because I feel like everyone's going to use the blues and the greens and I want to use something like maybe more of the reds and golds. So let's start off with a shade right here called Hunt, which is kind of a yellowy shade. I'm going to do Alter Ego on this side and Natasha Denona on that side. So let's start off with the Alter Ego one. And I'm going to tuck this in the first half of our crease. And on the Natasha Denona side, the shade is called Rizome. And if I mispronounce anything, you know, my bad. It's just a shade name. I would say that the Alter Ego one blended out a little easier. This one's, uh, like, the texture is slightly more moist, so it's kind of sticking where I put it. But it is slightly darker in pigmentation. But overall, they both look pretty similar. Next shade I'm going to use is called Trap, which is, like, a medium toned matte orange this is so pretty like there's something about the texture on the top of these shadows it makes it look more foiled even on the mattes that i really enjoy i'm just gonna put this in our center the matching shade from natasha Denona is called chrism and this is what our crease is looking like on both sides now for the outer crease color i want to take something i guess slightly more i guess we'll just keep doing orange and put gold on the lid so what i'm gonna do is the shade here called Captivate, which is like the deeper toned orange. On the Natasha Denona side, this shade is called Stain that I'm using. And overall, they look so similar. Now, I do feel like this orange on the Alter Ego side is slightly brighter. However, this is more of a deeper tone. It's very true to what's in the pan. So I'm not sure if these are the exact same shades I'm supposed to be using that are like similar. But overall, like the look so far looks identical. 
For our alter ego side, I'm going to deepen up a little bit with the shade right here called Lure, which is a matte brown. Now, usually when I use the Metropolis palette, because I have had it for a little bit now, I, uh, I kind of like f stay away from the browns a little bit because they're so wet and creamy. And I have to say, just from that one middle orange we had, I do feel the same way about this palette too. It's very much like the Natasha Denona formula where it's kind of wet in texture and it scares me a little bit just because I'm unexperienced with a wet shadow. But it's really easy to like very subtly add. So we add a little bit of depth to the side that this doesn't have. And now for the Natasha Denona side, the matching shade is called Antique. And this is one that I had to like press down a little bit because it came a little broken. So our shade came out slightly darker on the Natasha Denona side for this last color than it did for the Alter Ego side, which I did build up a little bit. But I feel like once we hit shimmers a little, you're not really going to tell the difference, but this side is slightly darker. So now for shimmers, we're going to take our little flat cream brushes, our E58s here. For the Alter Ego side, the first shade I want to put on the lid is called Scent, which is like this kind of greeny gold, which... I'm picking because it reminds me of Cassandra from their Goddess palette, which is like one of my favorite palettes that I own. We do have our Alter Ego Eyelid Primer on our lids right now. I don't know if I mentioned that before. This looks really metallic though. So here's our first color on the lid. Well, let me get closer. Very pretty. Now this is not a perfect shade dupe. Um, I would say that the Natasha Denona side, this shade, I think it's supposed to be similar is darker this shade is called orium this is what it looks like on natasha denona's side this is what it looks like on alter ego's side i prefer the brighter gold um but this is a darker color it doesn't match in the pan so next shade we're gonna take is i just switched brushes it feels weird switching brushes every time i switch an eye the next shade i'm gonna take is let's say it's gonna be hmm we will do Pounce, which is this bright orangey gold shimmer. And put this right in the center of our lid. Ooh, this looks really nice into the crease already. That's a really good color. And this also is picking up on a dry brush. I've not wet this brush at all. The matching shimmer for the Natasha Denona side is called Helena. And I would say this is a little bit harder to pick up on the brush on this one just because it's more of a wet consistency. I feel like this would apply better with your finger. But just for consistency's sake, this is what... See, this looks more metallic and foil because it's just a drier shade. This one had a hard time getting on the brush because it's more of a wetter texture. But it still looks really pretty. So, for the last shade on the outer corner, I'm going to do this shade called Conquer, which is really pretty red. And it looked amazing in swatches, so I want to put it right on this outer portion. The matching shade on the Natasha Denona palette is called Claret. And this is what they're looking like on the Alter Ego side, as well as the Natasha Denona side. Natasha Denona, the, 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 the Natasha Denona side is slightly darker. I'm going to take my blending brush from both sides now and just blend everything together. Now our edges of our eye are not blended out. I'm going to take a white shadow after everything and clean it up a little bit just to blend it out easier. I'm going to take my E55 shader brushes now. And for the Alter Ego side, I'm going to take the shade Thrill, which is like this weird mossy kind of matte shade. And for the other Natasha Denona side, I'm going to take the matching shade, which appears to be called Troop, which is a little darker in the pan, but I'm going to make it work. Both of those shades were so creamy that it was actually took a little more work to put that under the lower lash line. So this is our look. I'm going to go blend out the edges, put on some lashes, mascara. I'll be right back and show you the finished face and then we'll talk about what I think of both of them. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. What do we think? I'm not really happy with my blend on either one of these, to be honest, but it's not the point. So this is our alter ego side and this is our Natasha Denona side. Here's the shimmers in the lid so you can see past the lashes. <laughs> And they look really similar. So this outer corner is slightly darker. And I feel like these shimmers look slightly brighter. Um, but overall, like you would not, just by looking at them, you would not know these are two different palettes. Especially over a $100 different price tag. Again, $129 for this one. $22 for this one. Even less than $22 if you use code PORCELAIN at checkout. And it is an affiliate link. So I would greatly appreciate it if you did use that when you check out. But 
they're both really good palettes. Like this is a slightly creamier formula, which might feel slightly more luxurious, but I feel like it's harder to pick up on blending brushes and stuff. You kind of have to like use a flat brush to pack it on first. And I feel like this is more true to like what I'm used to using. Now I am slightly biased because I am an alter ego affiliate and I freaking love their goddess palette. Like they're, it's a Natasha Nona gold dupe. If you guys have been here for a while, you know I'm always raving about that freaking goddess palette. It's my favorite one out of all of them that they have. And I'm actually really happy about having this one now too because it's really nice. I love the luxurious like heavy magnetic packaging and stuff and the fact that it saves me a lot of money if I want a certain color scheme. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. For the price difference, it's ridiculously good for the, the alter ego dupe. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you later. Bye.